Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfAlgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town, Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at I'mAWiseGuy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. National Anthem is played in the eighth and final game of the championship bracket, really it is. So we're happy you've joined us. We settle in for basketball action as Grant Community, the Bulldogs, will take on one of the strongest teams around, Levante Valley Warriors. It's a matchup that we'll enjoy here. Yours truly, Jeff Myers, along with James Hinkle, the great coach. We're here from the Hinkle Holiday Classic, Jacobs High School in Algonquin, Illinois. And co coach, anybody who matches up against Levante Valley has a have a bit of a luck with them, don't they? Uh, you know, I just would like to see Wabonzi break a sweat. Uh, <laughs> they, their first game was so, so easy for them. And let's just see if Grant can make them work a little tonight. But Wabonzi is a terrific ball club, just a terrific ball club. We're happy to have them here. Now we'd like to see someone give them a battle. And we just saw the introduction of Grant Community. They're led by Clyde Mendoza and also William Shatner. William Shatner, we should say, Schubert. And here, number four, Moses Wilson being introduced right now. They do have great talents. We saw a lot of that uh, yesterday. Ryan Morton is a 6'2 lad. Levante Valley is located in Aurora, Illinois, and right off of Ogden Avenue. Ogden, of course, named after the first mayor of the city of Chicago. Number 22, Matt Seesum is also going to get a starting assignment. He is a senior at 6'3", and we probably missed one or two there, but we are ready to go for basketball action here. Wabansi Valley Warriors taking on Grand Community High School your way right now. The Bulldogs, they're coached by Wayne Bosworth. Andrew Schweitzer is the coach for Wabansi Valley. Enrollment 2462 for the Warriors, and an unknown number for Grand Community High School. We're going to have a bullfight here, aren't we? Yeah, uh, El Matador like coming Oh, hey. <laughs> well, <laughs> unfortunately, I know which one of these teams is the Matador and which one is the Bull right now. So we'll find out how this goes. Happy you've joined Bobonzi us here. in that team. zone defense. They are so lengthy. This they, long arms. You can't penetrate. You, you just have a hard time getting any good look. Shepard won't make it. They shot by Schubert. No. Watch this. They are so fast with the court. Up, down, and not in. But in, not in on the follow-up. All right. Back the other way. Wow. Grant right. Community. Yeah, that was a good start there for Grant Community. That's it. Grant All held time. them for one trip. Oh, there's another Oops. steal by Wilson. And boy, did he dribble? That was like a gallop and two-step. I'm nice. telling you, this team is so good. The Wabansi Valley Warriors, we hear a whistle. They are extremely talented, no question about that. Let's see how great They remind community. me a little bit of, who was it last year that was so good that we followed? Uh, the state champions, uh, Glenn. Oh, Glenn, the West. Yeah, Glenn Bard. Glenn Bard. Glenn Bard West. Two years Man, ago, yeah. They remind me of that team. They're, yeah. They're at that level. They are something else. Yeah, that was a couple of seasons ago. And they, was it two years ago? Yeah, now two, but oh, that, yeah. that was a great team. And 
A couple of their men are, are playing in big time college programs already. There's oh, a yeah, they three have here. Five V1s. Yeah. Then shot no. Watch this. We'll just let them play, fellas. And uh, bring it back out. It will take the land of three on that one. Yeah. And it is good as so. well. Wow. <laughs> That's, That's going to be Coleman. Coleman, Tariq Coleman with that. I think he hit a three to start out last night yeah. after a layup. I think we had a layup and a three last night to start. Look at the wingspan oh on some boy. of the players. Uh, you, you see, uh, again, Moses Wilson, number four. They're quick. Yeah, they're, they're quick. Long, they're they long. They're fast. And they play great defense. Can cover the court. They can score. They can simply do it all. You're they telling us, isn't that right, Coach? Uh, this is a great team. Tyree Coleman's number 12. We hear a whistle. We hear a whistle. It's 5 nothing. Wabansi Valley on top. Grant needs to carve out just a couple little things that they want to get done. Okay, this quarter we're going to do this. This quarter we're going to do this. Just give themselves some goals that are reachable. Price I'm afraid winning the game isn't one of them. Uh, this is this is a mismatch again tonight. And, uh, Wabansi's run into a lot of mismatches this year. What are they now? 11 and 0? I think so. I think you're correct on that. Yes. Here we go. In bow. Hey, we got points. Yes. All right. Nice that's, pass. I think that's going to be William Schubert. Yes. That was a great bounce pass. Six three two. Oh, they're already up court. Boy, they are quick. You look down. They've covered the court. Uh, you 84 can't look feet down. are yours. You better not. You better not look away because yeah. in the blink of an eye. We want to salute. Uh, last night we talked from Grand Community on our post game. Pride Mendoza. P R Y D E. His dad was in attendance for that interview as well. And Mendoza. So Pride is. Number 11. We'll shoot this and then we'll have the replay of that foul quickly for you by custom eating. Can we one take a look at it now? Did you call up there, coach? Did you see it? Did you whistle? <laughs> uh, no. Hey. Uh, uh, we got to box him out. No. Well, but yeah, you got to box him out. You know, now that's a fundamental. If you, no matter if they're bigger, stronger, faster, jump higher, if you box them out, they can't do that. So it, that, that was kind of an error on Grant's part as well as just great, great athleticism on the part of Wilbon. Moses Wilson did it again, Coach. He's, he's at the line after he got the two on the nine box out. Their men have scored two points, two points, and three to get to the 7-2 lead in the first minute, 53. So Wilson, it was a, a great-looking talent, major college talent, swish. Mo Moses is leading this That's team, right. I'll tell you that. He could reinvent Charles Heston's career. <laughs> Here we go, 8-2. He was still alive. Hey, Atlanta, it's, it's, it's Pride in the lane to pass. Back to Pride, Mendoza. Fakes right in there, tough guy. No, oh, boy, didn't get the roll. It was, yeah, it was a tough move, though. It was a good move. Here we go. Bring move. it up quickly. Where will they score? Who will score? Watch oh. it. A floater. No. A follow-up. Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. That's going to be a two-pointer by Matt Sessom. And they've got the 10-2 lead. They are an incredible high school team showcasing their wear here at Jacob. McDonald's, Coach, speaking of, speaking of your stomach, let's talk about McDonald's. You always smile when you see the Bear Family in restaurant. This is one of their 35 area locations, and their proud season sponsor, Beacon Academy Sports. You know Bear Family restaurants and, and all the good things they do with the community. We have worked with them in a, a lot of cable television work in Elgin. They are very much behind all their communities, and they are proud of the great uh, McDonald's that incorporates the 35 area locations, Coach. Well, I'll take my uh, quarter pounder with cheese, and <laughs> we can just, uh, we ought to serve a <laughs> six-pack nuggets to every player on Grant. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, they have got their work cut out for them just to stay in this game, just to stay in it. Pressure you see all over the court. Can they get a shot away? It might take place here. A floater. Nice job. Hey, nice up job. Nicely done on that. Well done. Zed Shepard. Shepard, that's number nice. eight. Hey. Ten four, good buddy. Here we go. Let's see the, the court's wide, but it doesn't make any difference. This is Moses, isn't it? And a gallop. Wow. Too hard that time. Good rebound. Yeah, it is. Here they come. Let's see the far side. Got it across the timeline. Let's see how Grand Community High School will assemble to see if they can stay within a few points in this great team, Wabansi Valley. Near side, the dish is, that's Gray. 
around the horn. They work it back out on top to Pride Mendoza. Now it goes to Gray. Shot, no. And here they come. This is so quick here. Don't blink. Don't blink. Anything could happen like that. Good That's defense. Right. Nice defense. Bring it up the other it's way. A couple trips now. Grant's it's done a good very idea. good job. Get it up there quick and do something with it. Uh, Not throw it away. Is this Moses on the run? Oh, it, oh my. Boy, he galloped and he was fouled on the way up. He sure can cover some territory, can't he? Oh, man. <laughs> is he man. quick? He's Such like you running for long the lunch counter. Strides, long strides, long arms. And he just covers a lot of ground in a hurry. It is indeed. If, if Grant can get through this game without going to the running clock, they will have done one heck of a job because they are so mismatched. This is actually Trey Blissett, who, who everybody came up last night when we talked with the guy. Trey, T-R-E, Blissett, got the first free throw. He's got three points out tonight now, 11-4 the lead is. And the crowd is hushed on this free throw, and it's swish. That, that's nobody here, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. They're not, they're not quiet. <laughs> All right, sir. I was focused on the court. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Steal. Back the other way. Wait for a highlight reel here. Bounce off a couple of bodies. Let them play, boys. Around the horn. Moses. No. Tap. Yes. Who did it? Couple of hands you up. could give it to two of them, yeah. yeah. I think you're going to give it to Coleman. Yeah. 12 yeah. to 4. All right. Here we go. Backcourt pressure. Across the timeline now. A Look triple team for a moment. Triple team. Here it is. It shot. Almost threw it away, but it might be the get a shot away. Whoops. Falling out. Uh-oh. Moses takes the hook. Nice pass. pass. And this could be a lay in too much, but Moses following, isn't he? Oh. So. They follow up the shot. No, that's like the Offensive on that rebounds. One. How many have they got already? Uh, a lot, uh, sir. 16-4. Good buddies to count. They steal it again. Boy, they're in a gallop, too. This is basketball that is hard. To, oh, up and down. You're right. And another timeout. 18-4 it is. With 319. <laughs> second timeout by Grant. Yeah. And there's three minutes and 19 seconds to go in the first quarter. Well, Bonsi Valley Warriors, they've, they've won this tournament over the years, as you know, or been, been competitive, but they know that it was sweet this year, didn't they? Oh, man. They, they, this is a, they've won it before, but this is the best team they've had here, I'm sure, over the years. And they're just going to be very hard to beat in this tournament. I just want to see someone, like I said, make them break a sweat. But breathe hard. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. But they don't. Yeah. they don't. They don't even breathe on it. Well, if you want to have some success, we're just firing up here because we're following the action so fast. <laughs> yeah. So we'll represent that. 18-4 it is. We appreciate the great effort of our Beacon Academy again. They're doing all the good work for us, as always. And so it, they've made their first sub. The, did they? Uh, Valak has come in, 6'6", six, six junior. So, <laughs> and he's he's outstanding player, too. I mean, they, they don't go down in talent when they bring a sub in. So here we go. Let's see how the response can be from Grant Community. Bounce it off. Oh, get it back. Land the three. No, I thought I was going to shoot there and send it. They're in a crowd. The ball somewhere. Doesn't go. Battle again. Well, the bad one this time coming up from the timeout. No. Give him a little spunk for the guys for Grant. Yep. As they're Grant was battling for that board right there. They I'll were, tell you they that. Were in a huddle, if you will, they underneath the They giving it everything they had. So they'll inbound right now. It's going to be landed, entered, inbounded, and looking anyway, looking tosh and tall, if he will, if I can say that. That cross timeline, we can do that. You know, and we'll sign out to get a shot away here. Round the horn, they work it. Far side. Now it's going to go. Is there a shot? Oh, it's a travel. Yeah, he did. He traveled. He tried to get between those two guys, and each one of them could reach out and stop them. They, they, the length that they have. Uh, in this defense is just what's a killer. So inbounding it will be, uh, it's going to be uh, Elijah Whitaker. They're going to go deeper into the bench. Elijah Whitaker is a 6'2 lad and a senior, number 14, the way I see it out there. I saw 14. And here we go. Down deep, around the horn. No. Boy, they hit the offensive boards. Yep. They are indeed. They really do it. Let's see where the shot will come from. Everybody, oh, is that a legal move? Three, line of three for the pink shoot, land again, shoe, and it goes out of bounds. 
What's our number for our pink shoe man? Because we were, family was listening in Wisconsin last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, Cade's parents, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah, Cade. Cade Valley. Yeah, yeah, I think they, I think the pink shoes. Told. Yeah. Yeah, because we didn't have two pink shoes, did we? And we, we got the green shoes out there on yeah. 14. Yeah. Oh, I, we, uh, we lead the league in Elijah colorful Whitaker. shoes, don't yeah. we? Look at that. Nice. We nice. have, if you watch them, they group together and run down court. It looks like a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, Coach. Sometimes. There we go. It is more colors you can look at, shoe-wise. There's a steal. Coming your way. Look out now. Up and in. Another basket there. Give that to Whitaker. Elijah Whitaker off the bench. 20 to 4. Good, buddy. 147 remaining. First quarter. Double team in trouble. Almost stepping out of bounds. Oh, he was out of bounds. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, there's a steal ahead. It is going to be in a gallop. Boy, that's a gallop, but a slowdown gallop. Was that Reese? Was it Tyler Reese? That was a good hesitation. Yeah, it was. Long, wasn't it? it was. His left knee slowed down his right knee. <laughs> they look like. They are fun to watch. Here's a maybe a shot. No, a foul. So the go to the line will grant community. Bavansi Valley. Seated number one in this tournament, of course, playing in the championship bracket across the right side of the bracket. It has done everything that you would expect them to do so far. Isn't that right, Coach? Oh, boy. Yes, they have. They have. They're, their defense is just so outstanding. And it's difficult to penetrate their defense. And even when you do, they have shot blocking ability. Uh, it's this is Matthew LeClaire yeah. at the line, Coach. LeClaire. Here is a shot, misses both, rebound, taken down. Nicely done, that's by Valet Cade. A shot almost came, oh, there's a collision course there, nothing called, skip pass out of the angle right. Around the horn, pretty good defense here, being applied by Grant Community to keep him away from the hoop anyway, coach. And knock it around, back it goes, that lane opens up, hop to it, yes. Yes, indeed. That's going to be Whitaker again. Whitaker. He's earning his varsity letter tonight, Coach. 24-4. Good-looking player. Yeah, they, they had the great one. Around the horn. What have we got? See what they do. Lubonsi Valley's got three kids off the bench in there already. Yeah. And they're, they're still overwhelming. Good ball handling taking place by Braylon Gray out there. And but that wasn't Berlin that time. No, it goes out loud. Last touch, I guess, by a warrior. So we'll do a 28.3 first quarter. Seconds remaining. 24-4 is the count. Here yeah, we there go. There are only two starters in the game for Wabonzi right now, and they still are dominant. Gray will inbound, maybe. And, uh, what do you call that, Coach? Five seconds. All right. Couldn't get it inbounds. Here we go. Bring it up. Let's see how they play it. This, they might hang on to it for the final shot here if they want to. They lead by 20 with 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Out on top with the basketball, we see Tyreek Coleman, six foot and a junior. They'll take their time for this final shot. Down to 10. Angle right with eight. Backwards with seven. Dish it now with five. Down low with four. Angle right again. Will the shot come from there? And it's, they are human. They missed that shot. Yeah. And you know what? He missed that by two or three feet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Double human, coach. In, in a great he, first quarter. 24-4 the He count. must have thought there was a backboard on the side. <laughs> he hit it off that board. You know, one of his teammates yeah. would catch it and flush it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it is a fun basketball here. We appreciate all the great teams involved with this. Certainly, this tournament, you've been putting this on for many years, and it's always great to have the kids assemble, isn't it? It is, it is, and I, I, I just think this tournament, it, it, first it brings back a lot of memories every, every time I come here, but then seeing stellar play like teams like this with Bonzi Valley really excites me to see we can get teams of this caliber here, here at this uh, tournament. It's, it's great for our school, great for basketball. All right, let's hear from the good folks at Rosen. And we do that Rosen. We might be singing here again, Coach. Yeah. There it is. RosenHyundai.com. You know, looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned car. Rosen Express Online. Buying made simple. 
www.rosenhunday.com. One, two, three. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. We do take requests. All right. What will happen in the second quarter, Coach? <laughs> 24 to 4, and Grant has just got to battle all they can. Just hang in there as tough as you can, guys. That's it. Spoken by the great coach. Oh, open down low, put it up in here. Oh, well executed. Up in that that that's it. Witch Walker. Yes. Elijah Witch Walker. Witch Walker, I should say. My name's there. Elijah Whitaker, 26 4. Everybody's going, hey, look at the length. Boy, that they is incredible. Just reach out. Intercept ball. That's a big 6'6 kid. One dribble. Is that opposed to a small 6'6 nah, kid? No, I know. I just, just want to see if you're six. listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Whoa! Three. No. Tip. Put back in by the big guy. Yeah. <laughs> by the man who stands 6'6 on the nose. <laughs> Kate put it in. Valley. 28 to 4. Boy, they hit the boards. Man. Oh, bounce off. That's touched by Kate. Everybody's working hard out there. They hit the boards. They play defense. Yeah, they and are. Just sweat. One of you. One of you. Just look like it's <laughs> hard. Here we go. This game is so easy for these guys. Mendoza inbounds. Goes to Gray. Back tick goes to Mendoza. Pride dishes it off. Pride will get it back. Mendoza dish it near side. To Gray. Gray wants to shoot. They'll dish it down low and they'll dribble down low. And what do we got? A violation of some sort. Well, you got a foul. Is it a little bit of a late call there, but we got a foul. All right. First team foul that is. Shooting two. They'll go to the line. Is Braylon Gray the line? That uh, one is short. We'll try once again. Yeah, when the crowd gets quiet. We get loud, when, don't we? <laughs> we when, have to be quiet. When, as well. yeah. <laughs> I can when, only hear myself. With those three people over there. <laughs> <laughs> they all know you, Coach Bill. Here we go. Back the other way. 28 to 4. The count is still. Come on, boy. You Come can on, do boy. it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, rebound. Man, everything was quick, though, Coach. It was. Back up the other way. This is as quick as you could go. A little Euro and step. A little Euro. Delightful. There, man. That's CSM. Doing it, S E S S O M, six three senior, thirty to four. Kind of like you driving it. You take thirty to go to four. You got it. Shot no. Oh, here we go again. They're so quick up court. If you blink, you miss a play. My oh, heavens, that's great. Really Takes nice a tumble. move. Yeah, it was oh, with the left wow. hand. He was fouled. Braylon Gray, there's a foul. He's a six foot. Junior, he committed the foul. And we're shooting two at the line. That would be Moses at the line, is it not? Yeah, is that Moses? I, have, I guess I see a number here. No, that's no. going to be, uh, that should be Coleman. Coleman at the line. Here we go. Ty, can you spell Tyreek, Coach, without looking? I'll give you five well, seconds. Well, it, it, it ends like Creek, so I'd say it ends at E-E-K. Boy, So let's try T-Y. You are a teacher, I can tell it. How about that? Yeah. 33 to phonics. Yeah. 33 4 it is. Zigzag to traffic. Mendoza behind the line. Skip pass far side out of the wing. Dribble twice back far side again. No, angle right, we should say over there, or angle left. Forward. Oh, tri well, great dribbling here. Did you see that? That's great stuff. It was. That was great. I'm going to show you. Here's going to be a wing popper that is good. Nice shot. It is good by William Schubert, 6'3", senior, and a whistle. What do we call here, Coach? I already called, hey, let's give the team to Grant, <laughs> the ball to Grant for a little bit. All right. He called it for turning it over. You know those special and, plays. And you know, sight, yeah, don't you? <laughs> that, that, that could or could not have been called, but, let's see, you we know, get, what the heck. We'll take another two-pointer here somewhere. Yeah. Back and forth, a good dribbling here. That's by uh, Aiden Shepard. Shepard dish it off to Mendoza. Around the horn, everybody touches it. Hey, this got a shot here. Nice drive. Yeah, it was. Nice finish. Protected the ball real well. And that's Shepard. Yeah. Yes. Nice job. 32-9. Good job. Come on, Grant. Let's get a stop. They 
more than doubled their point total. And they still have five minutes left, they being Grand Community. That's a nine point margin after trailing 24 4 at the quarter break. Knocked around a little bit. Oh, what a move. Go left, go right, go in. Wow. That was good, wasn't it? Whoa. That is going to be Threat, who is a triple threat. Threat. <laughs> Easy for you to say. 34 9. Backcourt pressure. I'm going to beat it. Maybe not. Oh, this could be a flush. Down low. Put it in. No. Get it back. Who's got it? It stays in the hands of Grant. Oh, they might have traveled. They got away with oh, it. Nice job. Tipping toe in. Yeah. Yeah. Schubert, Schubert that. got that. was a good job. Oh, they're up quickly, coach. Oops. You do it. We'll do we, it the same. We didn't turn our heads fast <laughs> enough. Win. Man. They yeah. are down the floor in a flash. 36 to 11, the count, 4-10 remain. First half, land of three right here, no. Good look, though, by Shepard. And they'll bring it back the other way. Bring it up quickly, that's Sesame. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. a, a wing popper. Oh, how easy wow. was that? So there we go, that's gonna be Coleman, is it not? Tyree. Coleman, 39-11. Don't go away, will we see 100 in a high school game? Here we oh, go, steal it, steal. and there is Ip, and a foul. So there you're gonna see their guy, Elijah Whitaker. I don't remember saying his name much last night, Whitaker. He's getting a lot of playing time tonight. Yeah, I think they're all gonna get a lot of playing time tonight. Do you have your sneakers? <laughs> <laughs> to the line goes Elijah. The crowd is hushed and <laughs> I know the, the folks here are. The folks here are hush. <laughs> All right. 40-11 timeout just like that. Or substitute, mass substitution is what it is. See, see Grant, th this is what you get for beating South Elgin last night, yeah. Bulldogs. You could have. They had the mass substitution on that one, yeah. yeah. You could have. You could have gone a whole different direction if you hadn't pulled that game out last night and played so hard. Second or Saturday. One. Yeah, that's right. We, the holidays in between, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. Here we go. Let's see how they do. We got men off the bench for you. As you mentioned there, we see uh, Matthew LeClear back in there at number 24. He's right in front of us, number one. I don't have a number one on my roster for those guys. We saw him earlier. Here's gonna be LeClear. Oh, a tough pass. Watch the diving for it there. Who's got it? They keep it. Grant has it, we'll try again. No time clock, they, oh, they lose it again. We got it back again. Turn about fair play. Oh, man, that's great. Good job. Basket by Enders. Enders, nice yeah. Nice job. 40-30, yeah, they really worked hard on that one. Landon Enders, 5-10, junior he is. See how we play it for Wamatsi Valley. With it there is Threet. Threet goes to Lissette. Back to three around the horn. Everybody's kind of touching it, taking their time in the lane. Pass it goes. They'll work it around. Dribbling with it now is going to be Ryan Morton. Out it goes. Well, we'll keep it alive. It's going to be the shot by Morton. Rim it. No. Morton misses the three. Get it out. We'll take that. Here we go. Back See if the Bulldogs can score again. Here. Yeah, they got that 1 2 2 out there, coach. Yeah, they they do. don't stop with that defense, do no, they? No, they don't. And they shouldn't. Every kid that gets in is going to show that he should be playing a little bit more. Working the pass out on top. Ooh, hit oh, hop. Oh, nothing called there. Finally, something called here. We'll keep it right here, but that was quite a collision as Whitaker went down in a heap. <laughs> more substitutions coming in for a grant community. This might be your best hair man. Coming in now, Coach, you're so good with 21. <laughs> the hair calls, yeah. There you go. You make the call now, on that. Well, you the, qualify the, for your the team. The thing is, is it bleached <laughs> or is it real? All right. Well, you're the hair expert for many years. Yeah, you don't make know. The, yeah, that's right. Here we go. Hey, this is a long way out. Yeah. Nice touch. Nicely good done. Good shot. That's going to be, once again, uh, Matthew Clear on that one. 40 16. They've got 12 points in this quarter. Around the horn. It's actually a quarter, it's only 16 to 12 so far, coach. Rebound, we'll do it again. Bullet pass. This is Moses with a spin move, hasn't shot yet. Goes left, goes right, goes dish. 
Back it goes Moses. Go ahead, Moses. Do it again. Corner. Bounce. Knocked around. Stolen. And away. Yeah, come hustling. on, Bulldogs. Score Here again. they come. In the lane. Up and in. And they called an offensive foul, coach. They did. Did you see they it? Get a charge. Yep. Ryan Martin picked that up for Obonzi Valley. I think the number one is Demarion Smith. He's just changed numbers on it from 25 to 1. Okay. So he's the foul. 40-16 it is. One minute. Let's see how we play the final 60 seconds of this first half. In a quarter with everybody playing and oh, knocked away. It was 24 to 4 at the first quarter. So this quarter's only been a 16-12 quarter in Good favor. quarter for Grant. Yeah. Good quarter. Here we go. Inbounding underneath their own hoop. Let's try it again. Looking, 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 and tossing. Wow. Was nope. that, what was they that? They weren't on the same page, that's Blowing. all. <laughs> and, and boy, there's collisions down there. Everybody's working hard still. The great athletes out there. And the shot forces up. No. Rebound taken down there. And they'll bring it up. Rebound by Morton. Set up shop again. They might hold it for the final shot. Oh, yeah. They lead by 24. 40 to 16 the count. They're down to 22 seconds. Outside they are. Forward dishing that way for a while. Taking their time on final shot time in the end of the first half area. Into the lane. This is a shot time now, and he's going to draw a foul. Draws the foul. Wabansi Valley, the Warriors, that's the team they're seeing right there. They, they indeed are talented and have had a great history, especially in recent years in basketball, Coach. Oh, yeah. A relatively oh, yeah. new school for us that began like 50 years ago. That's right. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, relatively. You know, when we relatively. think of the Pekins and the Quincy's and things like go. that. Here we go. Shot no. That's it right there. It's a 40 to 16 count here at the halftime break. A quarter there that was 16-12 in favor of Wabansi Valley. Good Qu quarter for Grant. They hung in there, kept on battling. So let's see what the second half brings. But again, it just if Wabansi, before this tournament's over, I want to see him sweat. And I want to see him anxious. And I want to see him, I, I hope they fall behind at some point in time to see when they really put on the heat what they look like, because this is just outstanding ball club. They're really fun to watch. Great team. So don't leave us, because uh, the question goes out to all, will Labonzi sweat? That's the question for everyone in this second half. The fun basketball here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic. We're going to take our break here at halftime, show you some highlight reel, I do believe, and back with second half action in just a little bit. You guys take care.
once again as we get ready for second half play here in our contest involving Grant Community High School against the Obonte Valley Warrior coming our way. As we see some, uh, looking at some of the great crowd that we have here, a lot of folks have left, but the ones that have stayed have seen a great show of incredible high school basketball talent. Coach. Oh, that's for sure. I wish more people would have stayed. But as we get, uh, you know, the next two nights, the semifinals and then the championship game, which I'm sure we're going to see Wabonzi in. Maybe we'll get a bigger crowd to see these kids. They're special. They're special. I'm glad to have them in our tournament and in this area. They they show us how to play the game. So I, I hope we get a big crowd out here in the next two nights to watch these guys from Wabonzi. They're a special team. Again, our count, it was 24 to four. Wabonzi on top at the end of one quarter and 40 to 16 here it is at the half. So we'll continue our action, as you mentioned, right here at your Holiday Classic coach uh, uh, tomorrow and, of course, also on uh, Thursday. And you had a good holiday, I know. You, you, told, you told us earlier. Great yeah. holiday, great holiday. Yeah, Christmas comes so fast every year. Yeah. Like, it was just Thanksgiving a week and a half ago, wasn't That's it? That's right, boy, yeah. Oh, boy. You went from turkey to being a turkey. There yeah. you go, there you go. <laughs> So that's what we have. We'll have a little post game. We've, we've decided that with the great talent that is Wabonsi Valley, we're going to have our post game is Tyler and Tariq, the Tyler and Tariq show for Mr. Three or Threat, if you will, and Tyreek Coleman. We'll talk with the kids and bring them all up. We'll get a chance to see the Wabonsi Valley Warriors on our post game as we talk with you from the lobby way. So what that's was that Mr. T? We got two Mr. T's. Yeah, so two, uh, yeah. pitting, Pity the fool! That's right. Pity the fool to think you can beat Wabonzi Valley. Pity the fool. Boy. When in trouble, go with the A team. Boy. You know that. He's, I love watching them. It, it's so much fun to watch great high school basketball players. And th this is it. I, I'm just pleased to have them here. Now I want Grant to just battle their heads off and hang in there as best they can because they did that second quarter. What was it, only outscored 16, 16 to 12? Tw yes, sir. That's yes, a sir. great second quarter that for was the Grand indeed. Bulldogs. Coach Bosworth should be congratulated on that quarter. Enters, had the basketball for a while. Now it's going to be uh, Pride Mendoza, the number 11 out there. They'll work it around. Back to Enters. Take your time, fellas. Look for the good shot. Mendoza now goes to Gray. Gray. In the corner, Mendoza on the wing. Mendoza, a couple dribbles. He's in trouble. Hey, there's a shot coming your way. Or a foul. Blocking ooh. foul against Wabonsi. Did you like that one, Coach? I heard you ooh. Well, I thought we'd get it the other way. I thought uh, <laughs> I thought Ryan Martin did a good job of getting over there, but he probably was a half step slow. I'm sure the official got it right. He's a lot closer to <laughs> the play right. than I am. He's right there, but is that your questionable call? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, to the line they are. Mr. Gray, first one is good. I mean, he on the night, uh, they're telling us that's his first point of the night. 40-17 the count now. His squad down by that. Just underway, third quarter action. Happy you've joined us, wherever it might be. We're at Jacobs High School, Algonquin, Illinois. The James Hinkle Holiday Classic the, is what we're enjoying here. Through the next couple of days, we shall continue. Bring it across that timeline. 40-18 is the count. Let's see just how active the lads will be now. They are using the pass form. Morton dished it off. Out on top. They thought about a shot there. Now with it, it's Sesson. Far side. Is it Morton on the wing? And they're taking their time. They're passing it around, Coach. They are. That's going to be the set. In the lane. Shot short. Battling for the rebound. Good job. Yeah, taken down by Grant. Here they come, quickly up court. Fast break. Hey, we got a shot down low, maybe. Back out wing, popper to be way short. Partially blocked, it looks like. Here comes another breakaway. Let's see what happens if he can get to the basket. He can't. They'll bring it back out, and maybe we'll try again. No. We'll set up shop again. They've got the lead. They're running a variety of offenses out there, Coach. Wilson had it for a moment. Morton now has it. Looks right. They're trying this to way. be very patient on their offense right now. The set. They scored most of their points off the fast break that first yeah. half. And they no doubt could do that again, but they're 
Just taking their time setting up shop here. Yeah, Grant's been able to hit a point throw, yeah. keep it, yeah, keep it in check. Haven't been getting the ball stolen from them. Around the horn here is the land of three. Angle left with it. No. Board taken down. Good job. Grant right. again on the boards. Schubert. Coming out tough. Yeah, Schubert dish it. Mendoza back to Schubert. Schubert can shoot and will and miss. Rebound. Morton, I believe. Outlet here they come. This might be fast break time here. We're quickly up court. And oh, the alley oop. Moses Wilson for two on the alley oop. Not bad. Yep. Good pass. Nice job. That's where they scored most of their points in the first half was that fast break, open court. 42 18. Here's a shot. Hey, great. Great shot. How about there. Grant? How about this? Yeah. And every time they score, that slows Wabonzi down a little bit. They don't get that break going. 42 20. Nice job. They at one time trailed by 20 early. So they've almost. Look at this. Steven, yeah. Look Schubert. at this. He didn't get travel, missed it. Darn it. Come uh, back the other way. It's going to be a breakaway. Here Three we go. on two here. Where will the trick play take place? Spin move. Shot. Yes. Yep. Yeah, when they great. come down open court, see the door. With that. That's a, with that. So there we go. 44 20. Now they got the 1 2 2 extended coach, don't they? Yep. Making Michael Payne famous years ago. Decades ago, out of bounds. Last touch by a fingertip of a warrior. And Michael Payne was about six foot eleven. He so was. He went out to play for <laughs> Iowa. He, he was, but he was that one of that one two he two was, that you yep. you love so much Those when you have the players. Long arms, oh man. Yep. It's Mendoza. Bullet pass down low. Here's a shot, I think. Yes. And Get it in. is good. Schubert again. Hanging Hang in there. Yeah. Forty four. Oh, up ah. top and good in. That was a great pass because actually their defense was there. That was a great pass. That was like a pass to a wide receiver. Threw it up. He just jumped higher than anyone else. Grabbed that ball and put it in. To the line. It should be set. Is it not? Three. Yeah, there he is, Trey. So he'll go to that free throw line. And this one is good. 47-22. The count. 4-16. Third quarter remaining. That court, the one, two, two, as you see there. there Mendoza's got it. Four court skip pass far side. Out on top now, they go back to Gray. Gray to Mendoza, Pride will dish it. He gets it now, Pride, Mendoza has it now. Fakes right, goes left, hangs on to it. Pass backwards, they're, they're gonna look around here. It's number two, that's enters with it. They're taking, looking for a good shot here, coach. Is this it? Probably not too far under. Skip pass to here. And a nice drive by Schubert and a foul. Looks like that's an offensive charge, Coach. He got, he got the charge that time. So the turnover that time by Grant Community. Well, Bonzi isn't putting on any pressure with their defense. They're just laying back and uh, letting them work. Daring Grant to try and get inside. It, <laughs> they're just This special. is going to be Tariq, what can I say? Tariq Coleman. Ooh, he missed a wide open. Wilson back at work. Tariq. Yeah, they're not Grant's in their man right now. Yeah. Tariq, he says, I'm going to shoot this time. He does. Yeah. We'll talk with Tariq on the post game. Coleman for the two. Coleman now with 14. 49 22 it is. Got five new players from Grant coming in. These kids have done pretty well that are in they really there. They have. Yeah. It's going to give everyone a shot to play some more minutes tonight. Because it's only a. It's not uh, a lot of scoring for anybody. It's like a 9-6 quarter, Coach. Yeah. And the other way, a three here would make it 9-9. Nine, nine. Let's see if Mendoza has something in mind. He'll try to get it to the three-man there. And, oh, a tough angle. Another charge. Another charge. Nolan looks for that, uh, or Morton looks for that charge. He does a good he job does. of that. It's like you entering a famous store, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, exactly. You can count on a yeah. charge. 49-22. Well, Martin's, hey, we got a, a Martin's defense is worth its salt, Jeff. Custom heating cooling. You know. What do you see, Coach? Here we go. Here we wow. go. It's pretty wow. salty. Yeah, it was. That was really a leap, wasn't it? <laughs> he, he leaped right into the hip of the one man. All right. 
All right, everybody's uh, five new players for Grant. Oh, that's right. We made that second year. Giving, giving everyone a little of playing time tonight. Joshua Cox. They got two more games to go. This is Cox, days. number five. Dish it. He goes now. Around the horn, they work it. 24 would be Matthew McClear. He played a little bit in the first half. 14, we know. And they keep that one there. I should say, as we work on that, 14 would be our Whitaker. Whitaker is what we have. And they keep working. They're doing casual out there as we. Let's see if zip we get that lob to the rim this time and they recognize it. Yeah, no, nope, didn't do. get it. No, nope, didn't. It's going to be a shot taking place there by Morton. Missed that and a whistle. What did you see, Over Coach? the back. Over the back by Valley. Ryan Morton is a 6'2 senior shot that. Substitution coming in. It looks like Tyra Threat. I heard Threat by the PA man. All right. Well, we'll could, be, that, could be three. Yeah, it could, could be. be Threat. That's right. We'll find out. Stick with us for the post game. <laughs> find out from the man himself. There's a fling short. Good rebound battle for it. Hey, look at that. Not even leaping. They were kind of volleyballing around. Yeah, they were. 135, third quarter remaining. Again, our thanks to Beacon Academy, the great folks from South Elgin High School, delivering all these goodies to you. Shipping this audio and video signal all over the globe, really. Happy you join us wherever it might be. Let's see if a shot will come from these guys right now. Almost there. Hey, he zigzags through traffic. Same thing here. Flip it back, land a three from this kid. No, he's going to get close. And now on the three. Yeah, it's going to be good. Is that nine to nine this quarter? Yes. Come yes. on, Grant, score. That's right. Win the quarter. Yeah, win the quarter. That would be. Win the quarter. Great for the basketball squad. They'd hang it in the locker room, wouldn't they? Yeah, it would be. Win, win the quarter. The quarter. One of the best teams in the state. 49-25. It was 40 to 16 at the half. It's going to be Whitaker. Had it for a while. He might want to shoot here. He will, I believe. A runner is no. The board is wow. foul. Well, he took Great a double rebound. there. Great rebound. It was. So under a minute remaining in the third quarter. So Whitaker, Elijah Whitaker, will go to the line. Oh, Elijah. <laughs> are, are you licensed to sing? <laughs> are you wired with the BMI? Can you sing on the air? <laughs> Here we go. First one. Good. Whitaker at the line. Makes that we've seen that half 150 to 25 now at two to one. I do that without two paper. To one. Yeah. yeah, scoring wise. So we'll get another one here as the hush falls over the folk in attendance. <laughs> this second toss here, I want to whisper almost. We're doing, we're doing go, golf yeah. almost. This one is swish 51 25. Let's see how we play it here. Under a minute, 45 seconds remaining. Pass it far side. It's Smith. Out of bounds it goes, and they threw it away. Shoot. Darn it. We wanted to have two there, didn't we? Yeah. Grant's we chances to win the quarter. Yeah, that would have been great for that. That would have been good. That would have really been a, a good sidebar. Outscored certainly. them one quarter. That would have been nice. Here we go. Let's see how they play it. They being the good folks from Monte Valley taking their time. Final shot time. Morton has it here. Near side here she goes to. Now it looks like there's a dot of a needle in there. So we look, I see a 21, I do believe. And back outside it goes to Tyler. Morton, far side, fling it, switch. Neil, that is a new kid in there, Neil. Tyler Neil, uh, was, I know there's a Neil, I saw him. And Donovan Neil, that's it. 54-25, close but no cigar on even Steven or keeping it above, if you will, for Grant Community, point-wise in that quarter. So they continue to double the output, 54-27 at the end of three quarters. Coach. Well, we got a chance. You know, I said at the start of the game, a victory for Grant would be as if they never got to the running clock. And right, right now, they're not going to have running clock, but they only got one point to play with. So wow. Grant's got to hang tough here to make sure we don't get a running clock. 
You that are. would be a big victory for them against this moment. I like your thought process. You are a coach's coach. Rich. That's what we want to do right now. We're not going to let them get a running clock. All right, so stay tuned with that in mind. That gives us some of the, the chart, if you will, here That's the score stands. And we will talk with a, a couple of players. Maybe everybody will come up for a cameo like last night. Well, Monty Valley. The Warriors from Aurora, Illinois, as you know, in the uh, DuPage Valley Conference, and uh, as he's been the, uh, of course, played in different conferences early in their high school career. So here we go. It's going to be Morton inbounding. And he will do so. Look at uh, Grant, you got to play good defense now. All right. This would be running clock if they score on this. Tell everybody on Come that. on. Oh, no. Oh, up and in it goes. Oh, well, Whitaker with it. That number we 20. Tried. One out there. Yeah, we you did well. We tried. Uh, that's Brandon Walkowitz is number 21. W-O-L-K-O-W-I-T-Z. He's out there. Throw it away. Goes in the lobby way. That wasn't a quick exit there, was it? 56-25, <laughs> the count. Lamonte Valley continues to play in the championship bracket. They slide into that, what has been the universal 730 game for them. So here we go. Bring it up. Far side. See, uh, Whitaker still working hard out there. One of the basketball. Near side dish. Winning had some new numbers. I would think that's Andy Willen. W-I-L-E-N is number 24. Oh, Whitaker for three. Whitaker for three. Was it Whitaker? Isn't that three? He's I'll tell you. Yep. Yeah. Whitaker just got a three. 59-25. The count, but Andy Willen is uh, in there, as we mentioned, number 24 for Lavonsi, 6'1", a senior. Here's a shot. We'll take it. And we got it. Nice. That's it. That shot is by Heath Berryman. How about that? Nice, Heath. Heath. Yeah, 6'1", Good shot. One junior. 59-26. Bullet pass down deep. Corner, far side. That's uh, Kate back in there. And there's going to be a three. Yeah. That's going to be, is that Whitaker? Boy, Whitaker? He's having, he's the player of the game for heaven's sakes. Yeah. Whitaker, endless scoring. 62 26. <laughs> we reverse that score. It is with it now. Brandon. Brandon out on top. Looking, looking. Dishing. Gets it back to Brandon. Brendan has that hair you almost had in the 70s when you're like a Pete Maravich type There player. you go, yeah. Fluffy hair, fluffy uh, socks. Yeah, that's right. Now, oh, steal. Oh, we got a breakaway here. We do. We will lay it in. Boy, Elijah's We're half of the game man, here in the fourth quarter. It's his it? quarter, and I don't think I see him on the scoreboard. Do you see a 14 up there? <laughs> no. So he's, he's scoring <laughs> it quietly. <laughs> You got a quiet scoring, yes. <laughs> 64 28. Congratulations. Elijah, you're doing wonderful. Whoever's running the board fell asleep or, <laughs> or left. That's one right. or the other. Tip their coat and more substitute. Oh, this is massive. This is where you come in, coach. <laughs> Ten new players, tell me about them. <laughs> there we go. And we, we're uh, willing in there again, Andy. You know him. Here's a shot that is good. That was a nice <laughs> shot. Man. And that's number 10. 10. Wes Peebler. He West played a little bit last night, didn't he? Wow. 66 that was a Good shot. That was great body control by Peebler. Demarion Smith, I believe, is their number one. This is Walkowitz. And he dished it away and it bounced around, went out. Whistle. And we got more substitution. Are we out of bodies yet? Do you have a jersey, coach? <laughs> They're empty in the benches. I see a number 30. Is that 3 0? Oh. 2 0. Oh. Let me see that. Nope. It, it, yep. Around the way. Hey, on, there it is. It's a not a three. The shot troops bring it up, as we used to say. Quickly up court, up and in. That is number 20. We saw him last night a little bit. That's Rimkus. 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 Rimkus got some Four. play time. 68 28 the count. Around, we want this kid to get a point here. Absolutely. Can't do it. Not this time. Yeah, bring it back up. Because is really bad. Look at the battle out there. They're really hustling. They're scrapping. Yeah. This is playing time for us. We want it. Yeah. Land of three. No. Board. Quickly 
up court. It's going to be Smith. Smith might go coast to coast and dish it off. He tried to get it back down low. No. Davenport again kept it alive. Smith brings it out to the wing. Three, three, three remaining. Knocked out of bounds almost. Bring it back. Smith says, give it to me. I want it. Yes. That should be good little Demar move. That is Demarion Smith. He's listed at 25, but he's Took no number one. one. Yep. 68 30. Moves. Yeah, that was great. Seeing some classic individual moves here. Land of three. No. Board again. Shoot it up short. Rebound. Quickly up court. Here they come. Houghton with it. Cameron. Dish it off and a whistle before he does that. Nice run of the court there by yep. Cameron Houghton, 6 1 junior. It's the first foul called this quarter. Wow. <laughs> Boy, you are so good with that. <laughs> Andy Willen was the foul man. Out on top, 68-30. We began this quarter at a 54-27 count. Now it's 68-30. More substitutions coming in. 23. Miles Wesley will see a cameo. And a Galleria. Who did I hear that last name? What was, I didn't see that number. I didn't get it. Yeah, but we know Miles uh, Wesley is a 6'3 uh, junior wearing number 23 out there. All right. Well, inbound again. Looking, looking to dish. Out on top. It's Smith. Pass it, gets it back. He wants, ooh, hippity hop to the hoop, and we mean it again. Land three, this side, nice. yes. Yes. Cameron Houghton. Houghton, the 6'1", junior, 68-33. Hot dogs are $2. Hot dogs are $2, coach, run down there. I just heard the announcement. That's your announcement. Hit shot, no. <laughs> if you leave the booth, I understand. <laughs> Knocked out of bounds. 130. We're running clock down. We are on the running clock, as you mentioned, as we lost that point. <laughs> here we go. Good defense here being applied. Heath Berryman, one of his fans, goes, come on, Heath. He's doing good. Heath spells his first name, H-E-I-T-H. Berryman. Do you have a student that ever spelled his Heath that way? That's a new name for me. Yeah. And you're so current, too. <laughs> Inbound. You, One think, you think someone hit the key wrong and it's supposed to be key? Well, it's your tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Land of three. No. Rebound. Here we go. Oh, quickly up court. This is going to be a run to the hoop. No. They're hustling. The other way. We'll bring it back up. See what happens here. Coast to coast. Dish it far side. Into the corner. Left side. Swish. A three. That's a number 32. That's Tyrus Payne. We did have some right. here tonight. So 71-33 the count. Again, we'll, we'll go out and talk with, uh, we'll call it the uh, the Tyler and Tariq show, but we'll see everybody from Obonsi Valley. TNT. Yeah, TNT. It's a big place down in Quincy, isn't it? TNT, <laughs> you, you can see it down there. Here we go. Come on, you, let's get a shot here. Out on top. Two seconds left, the shot. No, and that's it right there. 71-33, the final. So we'll go to, as we mentioned, Tyler and Tariq, and we'll find out about all last names. Coach, you take us through here right there. You know it was 28, uh, well, we'll recap this real quickly here, if I can remember my writing at this point. But it was a 54-27 at the half, and we advanced on to 24-4, 40-16 at the half. I got the stats here, and we ended up with the, the 71 33. A lot of numbers coming your way. Proves one thing Wabansi Valley is an outstanding talent. They are. Uh, if you got nothing the next two nights, or even if you got something, change your plans. Come out here and see Wabansi Valley play in the semifinal and the finals of this tournament. It's worth your time, worth your money, and you can't think of anything better than watching a great high school basketball team. We hope to see you in the next two nights. Thank you.
Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. And we will get a chance to talk with you guys. Uh, this team coming together so well. Did you feel that this would be your year? Uh, we felt like uh, the last the last two years we felt like we could have had a better record, and we we've, we've been keep comp improving and stuff. So we felt like this is our year. You guys have really got some great talent coming through the school, don't you? Yeah, we do. We have a lot of athletes. This dude. This Ty dude. Yeah, like this dude. Tyreek, Moses, Trey, Matt, Elijah. Everybody, really everybody's an athlete over here. So yeah, we have a lot of good. And you got a great coach, don't you? Yeah, we got a great coach, Schweitzer. Shout out him. Yeah. You know, right. yeah. He is, he is, he's, he's all right. right. All right. Well, I like that endorsement. That's an endorsement, isn't it? Well, it's got to be fun to be at this tournament. You've dominated so much. And it's just got to be, uh, you know, keep you in that. Now, I know you're all giggles, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. We love yeah. your work out there. I wish I could slam like that and then run up and down the court. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's nice. That's what basketball is about when you're young like that. It, it's fun, great. You got great teammates, great community uh, spirit behind you, don't you? Yeah, yep, of course. We all do. All right. You're ready for tomorrow night, aren't you? Yeah, we're ready. We're going to prepare, get back in the morning, and come back and compete. You like the 8 o'clock, uh, the 7.30 games, don't you? <laughs> yeah, no, you know, what, what do you want, 2 a.m., 2 p.m. or something? 4 o'clock. Oh, 4 o'clock. There, championship team must be at 4. All right. Well, Ben Erickson loves these 7.30s because he's an old-timer, and he gets a nap in between there at 4. So, all right, well, congratulations. That's why you call it the Tyler and Tariq Show, just for you guys, all right? Sure. From Mabasi Valley, they win again. We'll see you tomorrow once again for more action here from the James Hinkle Holiday Classic. Take it easy. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfAlgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town, Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at I'mAWiseGuy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com.